everyone. It's Justine Browning at Chelsea Cinemas in New York City to talk to actor-director John Krasinski and his co-star Charlotte Copley about their new film, The Hollers. You're playing a character here and you're directing a story about someone who is creatively stunted. And, and I'm curious for you, have you ever gone through that and what did you do to overcome it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, this this movie, uh, bizarrely, is a big deal for me because after The Office, it's, it's really hard to figure out what you're going to do next after something that per perfect, you know? And so I absolutely loved every second of every day on The Office, and so when it went away, it's just like a giant vacuum. And I've always been attached to this movie as an actor. And then right after The Office, the opportunity came up to direct it. And I was in that creative, stunted moment. And somebody said, do you want to go direct this movie? And it was a, it was a blessing for sure, because it, it's been fantastic to do. Of course, you know, you bring up The Office, and it, in that show, I recall that the writers were very collaborative, and there was a lot of improv on set. What did you learn working so closely with the creators of that series that you've now brought to your own work as a director? Absolutely everything. The greatest part about being an actor, one of the greatest parts, is that you get to see from all the smart people around you and you know the office for me was um, it was like a film class you know I got to every minute that I wasn't in uh, not every minute but a lot of time that I wasn't on stage I used to love going to the writers room and watching how an idea came up how they created it how they decided what was right and what was wrong and then I stole everything from those directors you know what I mean like giving actors time letting people feel safe and, and comforted in these environments it was it was the best experience ever the office really gave me everything literally and figuratively so when he died, I absolutely you loved your first film, Brief Interviews with Hideous Thank Men. Thank you very much. And it was so powerful. And with that, I imagine you had the work of David Foster Wallace to draw on. You had so, a wealth of material, really. So for you here, what outside sources would you say inspired you? It's really interesting. I mean, for me, um, this movie is a genre that I feel like hasn't been made in a long time. Um, you know, movies like Terms of Endearment uh, that are so good, it's about family, it's, a, it's, it's real people with real problems, but it reminds you how lucky you are to have a family. And I thought, I, I've, all, I've seen a lot of family movies, I think we all have, and sometimes they're really disappointing because they feel manipulated, they feel like they're trying to get you to feel something that you don't really feel. And when I read this script, it was the most real and honest take I had felt of a family. Sure, it's funny, but and it's very emotional too, but I think up there at some point in the movie, I think people stop thinking of it as the family on the screen, and they start thinking of it as their own family. Wonderful. Well, thank you for making one, because oh, it has been you. a while. Thank you very thank much. You. What I really enjoyed most about watching this film is it's such a departure for a lot of people. For John as a director, it's, it's a big departure from his first project. And for you, I think we're used to seeing you in a lot of different roles. So at what point did you know that you were the right person for this project? Well, I read the script. I, I liked the role, and I thought... As I've been telling people, you know, he doesn't have to kill anyone, which there is a bonus, go. and yeah. there's not prosthetics attached to my face, yeah. and, and there's not a lot of CGI. Yeah. So, no, but I, I once, once I spoke to John after having read it, I got a sense of what he was trying to do, what the tone was going to be, and I was looking to do a film that was a little bit more um, sort of straight traditional yeah. comedy drama. Yeah. As, you know, as opposed to the genre stuff I've been doing. So, yeah, I, I jumped on very quickly. So then I'm curious, when you're scouting new projects to work on, do you have ideas in your head of, of where you'd like to, what areas you'd like to tackle next? Not really. It's pretty much, you know, what a, a combination of what I get offered and, and what I think I can do the best work with in a specific character. Well, speaking of that, uh, Richard Jenkins had said that he wouldn't sign, he, he was... Convinced to sign on to the film once Margot Martindale was attached. Yes. So, for you, how important when you're choosing a project are the other actors involved, and have you ever signed on to something specifically because of the cast? I think, I think the most important thing is always whether you think you can do something cool with the role. Um, but as I go, interestingly in my career, the cast has become more and more important. And as I've worked with really good people, uh, I realize how just how important it is to have to have you know, the really highest level of talent around you that you can, that you can have. Because it's so hard anyway to make a good film. You just never know if it's if the film's gonna come out well. You just got the best shot if you surround yourself with the best people. You know? Of course. I mean well, John pointed out something interesting that Hollywood doesn't typically make these movies anymore, unfortunately. These uh, bared down family dramas. Why do you think that's the case and what do you think it's going to take for studios to start investing in smaller scale productions? I suppose just have to work. <laughs> have to make money. <laughs> you know, otherwise you're going to see more explosions. Got to go back to blowing people up. 
<laughs> when you were first reading the script of this, I know obviously you said you were very attracted to the material. Were there specific scenes that you looked at that you thought, I can't wait to play that, or, oh my goodness, I'm not sure what I'm going to do once we film that, but I'm excited to tackle it? Yeah, I, I was, I was initially concerned just because my character, I mean, for me, is pretty straight and normal in relation to most stuff I do, but he is the quirky one in the film. And you know, a couple of the scenes, there's an opening with him where he's peeing into a jug. You know, where I read that and I was like, so is this like American Pie type vibe in this movie? Or is it like, like what's the tone of the movie? And, um, but once I knew what the tone was, I thought, no, that'd, that'd be cool. And, and the, the slap fight with Richard Jenkins was, when I read it on the page, I was like, I cannot wait to do that and see how that comes out.